Well, let me ask you this. When people describe your music, what's the best way to describe what you're doing? Oh, Jonesy Jones music. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> It's about branding people. Right, you know right. I mean? <laughs> well, if I was to put myself like, um, I would say like reggae, Sade vibe. Uh, I love Sade. Amy Winehouse type vibe. I've been playing around with a lot of R&B soulful style because um, I've been getting a lot of requests for that style of music. Usually I don't do that style. I'm more so into rock and reggae. So I'm I'm trying it out, you know. Can, but, I, uh, can I tell you what I love most about your performances? Mm -hmm. Obviously the talents on the stage, but it's when you look in the crowd, you see white and black and brown. Right. You see old and young. You see so that, that diversity. Right. That's powerful. That's important to me as well. Do you that's, vibe off that? I do. I need it because of what my purpose is. I know that we as humans have to unify. I don't look out in the audience and see color. I don't look out and see age or sexuality. I know that humans, we all bleed the same blood. We have to unify, and that's what the frequencies I want to put out there. I don't. We're in the South, you know, so a lot of people have a lot of racist-type mind frames or thinking that the South is that way, but no, 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 no. Music brings all people together. And that's life. Even at a time like now, all people are experiencing the same thing. That's why we need to vibrate on a positive level because it's the first time all humans have been on the same level. So that means something. You know what I mean? That's right. So, yeah. so <laughs> She's preaching. It's, it's, it's Sunday. <laughs> so, you know, when you, when, you, when you show the peace sign, it's mm -hmm. so much more than that. Explain that. Oh, peace. Living in peace. My L-I-P. Mm -hmm. Hashtag L-I-P. That's live in peace. I feel that if we all live in peace, it's an individual thing. Once you're individually living in peace, that's, what, that's your aura. You're going to attract that. You're gonna, you're gonna, I say vibrate a lot because that's what I want. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Once you're living in peace, all people, we don't see all the negativity. We that's don't right. see all the poverty. Everyone is trying to lift each other. And that's what it's about. So I want to make sure I embed that in people's brain all the time. If, you, if you're thinking negative, hey, man, live in peace. You know what I mean? Hey, if you're thinking, hey, I'm, I'm going through something through corona, live in peace. And they that's think, right. how, do, how would that help me through corona? It's a mindset. You know? how, are, how are you in this young person's body, but you're about 202? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, say, I always say I'm 316. I'm 316 years old. Oh, because so. <laughs> Because there's a, there's a level of peace. Right, right. Because, you, again, going back to you know your purpose. Right. I ask for it, and I'm grateful. So once I ask, then I feel that I've been shown through, like, my, my journey has shown me the things. Like, I'm on stage. People are attracted to me. People want to hear me in the microphone, so that means I'm a messenger. You know, is a, is a reason people are attracted to me. Magnetic for a reason, so I have to give off something. It's you my get it. duty. You yeah. get it. Yeah. You get it. So mm -hmm. let me ask you this. All these hours on stage, because you put in, I mean, I, I, I remember at Mardi Gras, like I was, <laughs> I was worn out. Do you hear me? I was worn out, and I wasn't playing an instrument, right. and I wasn't singing. How do you stay in shape? Like, what's your routine? Well, I practice uh, as if I'm on stage. Uh, when I'm practicing trombone, I'm doing squats at the same time. Well, I'm running in place because I realize that builds my endurance. If they want to put me next to Beyonce, she got she has some challenge coming. Ooh. Okay, because <laughs> I'm not going to stop. No, okay, see? I'm not going to stop. <laughs> Ew, yeah. Wow, that, that that puts it into perspective. Right, you right. are not playing. I'm not playing. <laughs> oh, and and you feel that you you owe it to people. I feel like I owe it to uh, the Creator for giving me such uh, to, for giving me gifts. So I show my appreciation by going hard. You know, I, I even shared this with my niece. I said, iron your shirt, wear your earrings. You're a pretty girl, but show you're grateful for being pretty by complimenting yourself. I'm grateful for my gift. I'm grateful that people like my gift. So I want to give them more. I want to go harder. I want to. I just want to be the best at it. So let me, and I, and I can so appreciate that. When I lived overseas, you know, one thing that the Europeans did that I marveled at is they didn't wait to a special day to put on good perfume. <laughs> you know, they didn't right. wait to a special day to wear something nice. Every day they treated it exactly. as such. Yes. And I think that we can learn that, that, you know, it, today you woke up, that's your special day. Yes. Now move. Exactly. I like oh, that. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so real quickly, before we go to break, um, if you could perform with anybody... On stage, I mean anybody, who would it be? Tina Turner. Why? 
I love Miss Tina, first of all. <laughs> so if you ask me again who I look up to, I'm going to say Tina Turner. Mm-hmm. Um, she's just, oh, my God, she's phenomenal, first of all. I feel like we have the same voice, so I think that's why I was so attracted to her coming up because I was always a raspy singer. And for a long time, I was, like, not confident about that because people, you know, you don't sing like uh, Whitney Houston or Beyonce, so you think I'm not a great singer. But someone like um, Amy Winehouse as well, the raspy tone yes, paved the way for people like me to have the confidence because it's been a way, but we just didn't have the confidence. But seeing Miss Tina and her light on stage, strong, endur- endurance, you know, doing her thing, that gives me so much life. Well, you've heard a (laughs) snippet of that raspy voice. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, who's joining you? Tucker McKee. And they're going to play a little number for you. And it's it's, it's specifically for you. Indeed it is. Right? Okay, stay with us. Yo, Jonesy, coming back after a quick break. Right on. Welcome back to 251 Now with Kelly Finley. As promised, we have a live performance. Yo, Jonesy, if you would please introduce the song and tell us what we're about to uh, experience. Oh, yeah. Well, this song is called No Fear. Actually, Tucker McKee titled it for me. (laughs) And he's also on guitar. Uh, I wrote this song during the pandemic.